We're gonna be installing high rim on a Gen 5 LT1 6 gen. You wanna um, take off all your stock stuff, pop off the intake, take off your math sensor, on this kind of throttle body sensor, um, disconnect all your um, stock PCV lines, um, your map sensor you wanna disconnect, your brake booster line is on the back of the manifold. So when you take out the manifold, don't snap that or break that. And then this, your EVAP, whatever it is, I'm not sure. It connects right here. You just wanna get rid of this whole entire thing if you're on the high rim. And then, uh, the installing JLT intake, solar performance 103, uh, Mighty Mouse catch can, and you know, some miscellaneous filters and fittings and whatnot. The fittings, the high rim will come with three plugs, um, eight, three eighths, and another eighth. So if you're running NA, you pretty much only need um, two fittings and then just plug the other one with this one. So for the brake booster, I'm using an eighth to five sixteenths. It just depends on what hose you use for the brake booster. I'm using just some hose from AutoZone. I literally found it in the back and got it for free. And then for the catch can, this is 3 8 to, I think the barb is quarter inch. This is gonna go to the catch can. Again, it, the barb just kind of depends on what hose you're running. I'm using the Mighty Mouse catch can. So, I mean, it just kind of depends on what you're running, but for me, 3 8 MPT to, uh, I think it's quarter inch barb, and then 1 8 MPT to 5 16 for the brake booster. I got all that disconnected, all the PCV lines, the intake, manifold, throttle body. The intake has two rubber grommets down here. You have to pull off throttle body sensor, math sensor. The brake booster connects there. Just disconnect it from there and pull it off with the manifold while it's still connected to the back of the manifold. Now I have, I have the DSX flex fuel kit. You have to disconnect this side of it off that little nipple. You can keep it connected here. But the intake, the sound tube. I'm deleting the sound tube. There's just one nut right there and it pulls all, all out right there. To run the high ram, you need a new hood or cut the one you have. I bought a template off of um, Dano Butler on Facebook. Just place it down seven inches from the top, line it up in the center, then just trace it and then cut. So far chopping up this part right here. Should be good to go. You just gotta get deep in there, cut it straight. And I got in the instructions, it says the longer thread goes into the block. Once you once you show these, you'll see that this is the short end thread, and now there's the long end. So the more end with the most thread will go into the black. It comes way into the cabeza. All right, so we got these installed now, pretty snug. Use a 10 for it to tighten it, 10 mil. I forgot what size this was, a 13, 18. It was an 18 mil. And then your map sensor, and we're good to go. Now it's gonna install the top, put the seal. Did it come with it? Okay, good. Is it also like a little thin one? Mm -hmm to go under and then one question that y'all probably gonna ask for the catch can catch can you got dylan made this bracket uh from what we know normally people install it over here but they made this bracket and they put it over there or like this is it like this dylan you'll see so this is angle 
Okay, so now we just gotta put all the the lines, that, throttle body, and yeah, and take. So let's just do that real quick. Awesome. So there's these studs that we were talking about. We originally put all eight, I mean one, two, three, four, all five on one side, but no, there's six. Two, one, two, three, four, five. No, there's five. Yeah. So there's five on each side. We removed these back um, two or four in total. That way it could fit better because if not, you would not be able to put it in. Well, at least we weren't. And it was easier just to put them back in. So this will tell you the torquage. If you have fuel rails. All right, we're doing with the JLT intake. Got that part done. Now we're just done this part already. We had to heat up the side of the throttle body so it could fit in. Throttle body. Yeah. The coupler. No, on the side where the throttle body goes. And that way the coupler can fit because it's a 103. So we just heat it up and we put it. So now this booger goes like this. All right, guys. So far, we already installed the intake. Ta-da. Dylan's working on the catch can, putting the parts back on. We ended up buying a cannon filter from AutoZone. He uh, trimmed this part. And there we go, another breather. Back the lines back on. That's there. Now we just gotta get the map. Oh, never mind. la vuelta. Alrighty. What else? All right, tortotas. This, this is it. The map sensor, re uh, extension goes to the back. So let me go plug it up. And we'll go from there. Now we're just zip tying it up. Make it a little bit more snug. We're almost on time. We got 13 minutes left. All right, guys, so that concludes it. We just got to put that little trim that goes right here. And I guess a weather strip, so that should be it. Alright guys, ahí nos vemos.